know what? Mommy is recording, so shush. Yes? You have to put volume on zero, banana, because I'm recording. Yes. Shh. Shewani, welcome back to my thing. Yay. Shewani. 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 Welcome back to my channel. And today I have an audience, okay? That's the realities of the lockdown, all right? My kids are home, my husband is home, everybody's home. Everybody and their puppy, literally, is home. So let's just work with it, okay? So it might be a little bit noisy, just work with me. Let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel, and today I will answer a question everybody's been asking me. Petunia, why? Why aren't you teaching children anymore? That is, online. Why aren't you teaching children online anymore? What the one now? What's happening? All right, so I'm going to let you know what happened. This doesn't mean you shouldn't go out there and try and land gigs of teaching kids online. It's quite fun. It's got a lot of perks and uh, there's a, a wonderful upside to everything. I'm just going to be sharing with you my experiences on why exactly I kind of put that on ice. Also, I know a lot of you guys have been sending me emails and popping me messages asking how do you get started. So you will need a TEFL or TESOL certificate. I have put a link down down below to a discounted course that you could do so give it a try check it out i know groupon might not work in some countries or the price has gone up like a whole lot so go check it out go check out the link down below and see if you can figure it out remember there are quite a number of esl companies online so you're welcome to check them out don't just knock it before you try it so some um, are platforms where you teach children and others are platforms where you teach adults i've added a few of them down below so you can have a look check them out see if maybe you can get through and the whole point is to get started that's the hardest part once you get through that hey bob's your uncle now number one the company that I chose to work with um, when it comes to teaching children online, teaching children English online, was IQ Bar. I did speak about it in my previous video about making money online by teaching English as a second language. Please check out the link down below. Now, this particular company gave me two options when I first signed up. Obviously, I went through the whole interview process, nanani, until they decided, yes, I was a good fit and I could work with them. Anyway, they gave me two options, okay? They said, Petrina, would you like to be a contract uh, teacher or a flexi teacher? And of course, I chose to be a flexi teacher. Why, you might ask. Dum, dum, dum. I do have other things that I run. I run my business on the side. Actually, I do this on the side. I run my business on the main. <laughs> okay. And I've got two very busy children. I've got my husband. So I, I allocate my time very wisely. So when I signed up with them, I decided I was going to be a flexi teacher because I didn't want to have too much on my plate. Okay. Now, when they say flexi teacher, they mean you can choose your working times whenever it suits you. Okay, well, at least that's what I thought. So if I'm available every day from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., then I'm going to open up slots there, etc. Right? Wrong. Okay. They meant that they have their peak times and they want you to kind of find a way to fit into their peak times their peak times happen to be my peak times too i have other things more pressing things that i'm doing during that time which became a serious challenge because every now and then i would get emails hi petrinia how are you doing we see you haven't been so available lately and i'm like yes i have i've been opening up slots and they're like yeah um this is outside of our peak time so can you like work on that and i'm thinking no. Number two, these are children that are sitting in China or some of the other Asian countries. So when it comes to bookings, their parents have to look at your profile, look at your intro video and see if they like you or not. And then they will now pick you to teach their child. Now, with that said, I think I had a pretty mean video up there. Okay. But bookings was so scarce, literally waited and waited and waited for just anybody 
to book me okay then they book you and it's trying to know it's great but i mean the times you wait in between and i mean if you if you've opened up slots you're gonna sit there and wait and they can book you even up to just like a couple of hours before the actual time so oftentimes i would get like an emergency booking and i mean if i didn't if i checked this morning and nobody booked me and i, was, I had opened up a slot for maybe midday and by 10 a.m. nobody said anything, I move on and I do other things. By the time at 11, you say to me, oh, somebody's on their way. I'm already doing something somewhere else. So that was not working. A third reason why I stopped teaching kids online, as you can imagine, when you're teaching kids, you have to be a whole lot more animated, especially since this is on camera. It's not when it's one-on-one uh, -on -one interactions. So that's very, very different. So if you're gonna work with um, children that are sitting on the other side of that webcam, you have to make sure you're like, hi, la 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 la. A lot of this. Hey! Uh huh. <laughs> Can you imagine doing that all day, every day? It sounds like fun, but some days you really feel like you are spent, and you just you don't want to see another puppet ever again in your life okay so it, it is so much effort okay it's, it's a lot of fun for me and i don't mind doing it when it comes to one-on-one -on -one, face to face but online it's a whole other game okay you literally have to amp it up one million times and i was just like i've had enough <laughs> I was just up to here, okay? I was fine. So I was really like, thank you. Can I just talk to people who can, you know? Another reason why I stopped teaching children online is the fact that obviously when you're teaching a child, an adult had to make the booking. Oftentimes those adults sit in on those lessons, which is fine. The only challenge is that the adults don't just leave it there. They pitch in, they will sit there and you are like, <gasps> hello Johnny <gasps> how are you say hello hello and then the, the child sitting there trying to figure out oh they want me to wait as they're about to do that the mom's like Johnny Johnny <laughs> hello hello and then the child's like not sure who am I listening to is it you is it my mom what's going on it's it's just a lot okay you want to do simple things like Johnny, what color is this? What color is this? And mommy jumps in. Mommy's like, Johnny, yellow. Johnny, yellow. And Johnny's like, yellow, yellow. And it's like, <laughs> is it some kind of hostage situation? <laughs> so I didn't like that. I felt like I, I, I'm not able to keep track of my children's um, progress when it comes to how well they're doing because the parents chip in so much you want to give them room you want them to learn you want to see like okay last week johnny didn't know this was yellow now johnny knows this is yellow and johnny can spot yellow from things in the room and hey but now because johnny's mom is there shoving everything in johnny's face johnny can't really do as well as johnny could okay so that was another thing that just used to upset me and you want to shout at the mom like mom stop but you can't because mom's paying. <laughs> After you finish teaching a lesson, you have to go on the site and you have to assess the child's uh, progress. So you have to say, Johnny did X, Y, Z today. And this is how Johnny uh, fared. Um, Johnny is improving in this and needs more help in that. You can't really go say, well, Johnny's mom kept on pitching in. So Johnny could be doing better, but hey, mom's just, you know, you can't say that because the parents get to read that. So you kind of have to sugarcoat everything and just, you know, and I, I don't like that. It's like, this is so redundant. I'm trying to teach. I'm trying to help this child make their giant strides. But mommy is just being an enemy of progress, but you can't go right that day. So it's like, we're just going around in loop de loops. And for me, it's, it's about more than just um, making the cash. I anticipate this to be a meaningful experience. And that was just taking away. It was taking away from this whole thing. Other people's experience is different. Now I'm just talking about how I felt about this whole thing. Okay, so you're welcome to share your, your, your thoughts and your, you know, your feelings about it, whatever, down below. But hey, don't knock it. This is my experience. Now, I haven't stopped teaching English online. I still teach 
English online with another company, but the difference is I teach adults. Yes, I am enjoying it, I am making coin from it, and I will do another video that talks about the benefits that I've been experiencing with teaching adults online and yes i will be honest about some of the not so great sides of it but please do look out for that video i am going to be posting that very soon go and make a wee okay now please now as usual please don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell because i will be posting more videos and hopefully they help you get well on your way on your journey of making money online some of you have been suggesting a few things i have noted them and yes i am doing a little bit of research about them so please look out for those videos i'll talk about some of the things that you guys have been suggesting and whether or not it's worth venturing into trying it etc with that said thanks for stopping by